How to measure spin a pelvic balance with the app. The app offers a very convenient way to determine the most accurate lines in order to measure the angle. Once you load or capture the patient's image by default the simple method is highlighted. Simple method with the transparent circular template you aim to locate the posterior corner on the top margin of S1 of the sacrum and by clicking the button point the P1 point is marked and by clicking the point button at the anterior corner of the superior end plate of S1 vertebra, the point P2 is marked. Next you aim at center of the femoral head and by clicking the point button you mark the center of femoral head, C3, automatically pelvic incidence angle, pi, sacral slope angle, SS, our pelvic tilt angle, PT, are calculated. Extended method once you press the X button which is highlighted and the extended method is activated and instead of marking the S1 vertebra you aim to mark the L1 vertebra. By clicking the button point the point P1 over the left edge of the superior end plate of the L1 is marked and by the same manner locating the right edge of the superior end plate the point P2 is also marked. The order of marking does not affect the measurement. A green line P1, P2 over the anterior and posterior, superior end plate of vertebra body of L1 appears. With the transparent circular template you aim to locate the posterior corner on the top margin of S1 of the sacrum and by clicking the button point the P3 point is marked and by clicking also the point button at the anterior corner of the superior end plate of S1 vertebra, the point P4 is marked. Next you aim at center of the femoral head and by clicking the point button you mark the center of femoral head, C5. Automatically the pelvic incidence angle, pi, sacral slope angle, SS, our pelvic tilt angle. PT, lumbar lordosis angle LL, pelvic radius angle, PRA, pi LL pelvic incidence angle, pi, minus lumbar lordosis angle LL, TPT, TL1S1 are being calculated and normal values appears respectively.